Good morning, Jim Lurkey, owner of Safety Connections. And my blurb for the week, how to manage an employee who's having problems. It appears it is all over the place. It's something we should all be aware of. Latest article I seen this past week, one in five have mental issues. I seen as much as 50% during time have problems with mental health issues alone. That's without any other thing. So uh, here we go. We all have life events that distract us from work from time to time. No doubt about it. Ailing family member, divorce, death of a friend. Can't expect someone to be their best during such times. But as a leader, what can you expect? We can be the best leaders. We all have life events that'll distract us from work from time to time, and it's that ailing family member, divorce, loss of a loved one or family member. But a leader, a leader uh, should know what to expect. We can support the person and take care of themselves, help to take care of themselves emotionally, while also making sure they're doing their work, a combination of both or as much as they're capable of doing. Sometimes they're not. What do I hear experts say? Working with an employee who's going through a stressful period, uh, one of the real challenges that all bo bosses and leaders face. A lot of people try to keep working or keep work and home separate. But we all know situations which our personal and professional lives can and do collide. How we handle them situations is a test to meet to our leadership. We need to be empathetic and compassionate. Also being professional and keeping your team productive. It's a fine line. Some ideas for all of us to take away. And I've been through my share. As some of you or all of you may know that my wife and I had lost three children. People don't always feel comfortable telling their boss that a parent is gravely ill and that they feel stressed or in the wake of a crumbling relationship. I can tell you one thing from personal experience. Because of what you go through, don't ever expect someone else to understand that unless they've been through the same thing. Big lesson I've learned. This may be too overwhelming or embarrassing that causing them to be reporting late, missed deadlines. Often leaders' first challenge is simply to recognize that what the warning signs are during a difficult time. And what we need to do is to invest in building relationships with employees through trust, uh, compassion, and empathy. Critical during tough times. Other thoughts, don't pry. As a leader, we need to be able to show empathy and care, but also we must avoid becoming an employee's personal confidant. After all, the job of a manager is not to be the office shrink, if you will. So don't ask a bunch of questions about the employee problems. Ask the person with more power in relationship that the employee may be compelled to tell us more than they're comfortable with. We want to build a caring relationship with employees. So what would I conclude with? First, listen first, suggest second. Summary as leaders, we must demonstrate being an honest person, passion about our teammates in need of help, while remembering no two people do things the same way or deal with things the same way. Being caring, kind, and helpful, and using the word we more often than not can get us through. That's my message for the week.
Don't ever turn your back on someone. Be there in a caring, kind, helping way. That's my message. Take care, everyone.